Many of us are aware of the challenges we face as a society, and I'm absolutely sure that given the opportunity, we would jump at a chance to help. Solidarity comes naturally to all of us, but when we're surrounded by such dramatic needs on a day-to-day -day basis, we begin to accept this unacceptable reality. We needed to first reawaken and then become part of the solution. The problem is helping is not always so clear and easy. How do we make a measurable impact? I'm from the business sector and I was asking myself that very question. I looked around the team that I work with and the first thought that came to mind was volunteering. But it couldn't just be any volunteering. We needed value added volunteering where in addition to enthusiasm and solidarity, the volunteers would use their talents and knowledge to offer far greater impact. Volunteers would be making a difference, doing what they do best. At that same time, my co-founders, Selina and Ken, were working in public health and education and asking themselves similar questions. Where do we even begin? Is it education? Is it health? Is it security? What can I contribute? How can I contribute? How can I inspire others to contribute? Where can I have the greatest impact? One day the three of us got together and started thinking that volunteering and mobilizing resources, whether it be human or financial, is very much the same. So we had before us the opportunity to bring this intention straight to action. And that's how Glasswing started. We were founded by three people with very different backgrounds, but with a shared vision. And that's a crucial element of what we bring to each and every project. We run education and health programs designed to bring companies, government, and communities together to action. We do more with less because instead of focusing on weaknesses, on needs, we focus on existing strengths and resources. We stretch every dollar that comes to us. 95 cents out of each and every dollar that Glasswing gets go to programs that improve our communities. And the other five cents are what keeps our organization going and growing, giving us the opportunity to go further and to innovate. We aspire to be a world-class nonprofit based in Central America and develop capacity on site. This makes us efficient and effective and is precisely what led us to focus on education and health. 85% of our kids are in the public school system. That makes the public school the cradle of our society. This is where kids learn their values, where they learn their life skills. And we realize many of these schools were in very poor condition. What did our school bathrooms look like? Where did our garbage go when we threw it out? What kind of chairs did we sit in while we were in class? What difference could it make to our students if we drastically improved these conditions? We brought volunteers in to make a concrete impact, fixing leaky roofs, bringing sanitation, bringing running water. But then we went a step further, bringing more volunteers on a continuous basis from inside and outside the school to give after school programming, Lee Club, Newspaper Club, soccer club, computers, giving the kids the opportunity to stay in school longer and engage in programs that will give them hope and give them the chance to become more valuable to themselves and to society. And this together brings the public school back where it should be, as the heart of the community. As we grew and came to know our communities better, we recognized another crucial opportunity for Glasswing this time in the public health sector. We realized that there were opportunities to bring our skills and our volunteers and put them to work in primary care and emergency response. In many parts of our countries, people have very limited access to primary health care. Treatable pneumonias and stomach infections often lead to life-threatening conditions simply because they didn't get detected in time. Young mothers may have to walk for hours with their babies to get a pediatrician at a community clinic. So we've been working with doctors and nurses to bring them to these communities to offer the services that they don't normally have access to. In emergency response, we've trained hundreds of first responders. 
These are the unsung heroes that are manning the lines when crisis arrives. It's been four years since Helena, Ken, and I began to talk about how we could make a difference. Now we've gone from abstract ideas to having a world-class team of professionals and volunteers all committed to improving our societies. Throughout this time, our innovative programs and ambitious efforts to involve individuals, corporations, and communities have improved the conditions in over 250 public schools, provided after-school activities for over 15,000 public school students, certified over 1,000 emergency first responders in the health system, provided pediatric services to over 10,000 children, and community health care services to over 20,000 people. We've mobilized, trained, and equipped over 30,000 volunteers, each making a difference in their communities and serving as role models for today's youth, helping them to grow and dream bigger dreams. Looking forward, our goals are very ambitious. We want to double the schools we rebuild, double the number of children with access to after-school programs, double the number of people benefiting from improved health care services, and continue to multiply the thousands of volunteers we mobilize each and every year. It's an ambitious proposal, but achievable with your help. So here's how you can join us.